we we get asked a lot a lot on on the live about um d9 piston failures um it's it's the thing um as as we always talk about um there's b9 piston failures on factory vehicles this is confirmed by any dealership if you if you speak to any audi dealership they are warranting and replacing uh, motors on the regular um, this is confirmed by failures you see online uh, on our calibration as well as every other calibration um, some companies are better at hiding it than ours than we are and we sell so many tunes so many calibrations that um, if you just do the basic numbers game there's going to be a lot more instances um, of engines failing on zero through four tunes just simply the sh like in some cases we're selling a thousand times as many tunes as one of our other competitors who's uh, attacking us for having bad tunes yeah, and we've never done the the nda game or something if no. there's ever been a customer issue like that we've never silenced anyone or, or paid anybody off to no be quiet, no so. we, we don't do that um we do engage with any customers that have had problems Absolutely, and we, yeah. we do our best but um for, for a while now we've been seeing these failures which which essentially are cracked pistons pistons are cracking and failing in some cases pistons are literally breaking in half um if the driver doesn't notice right away and they keep driving then what happens is uh, you get basically combustion uh, gases flame cutting through the opening and just melting the piston and, and creating a catastrophic failure and they keep driving eventually the piston and rod come apart and you know could window the block it, it only gets it doesn't get better on its own yeah that's very rare but what most cases we see uh, someone you know complains about a misfire boroscope and there's a, a cracked piston and that, that's basically what the dealerships are doing on, on factory engines so yeah. what we have done is um we've taken an engineering repro approach here there's there's kind of some hysterical people online who are who blame our tuning and our calibrations we we just know emphatically that's not true um but we understand why they want to attack us but um we um have sent uh, some pistons out to independent laboratories and um, received um, some really good high quality engineering feedback which we have now published on our website and our blog um, so what's the best way to get to them uh, they, they're posting links in all of the, okay. the various uh, all right so if, if you're online right now we're, we're posting it i'm sure we'll post it to our social it's, feeds it's in our blog on our website if you want to yeah. navigate there but if you go to our website, website and you click blog um, that's under resources, I think, and then blog. At the top? Yeah. Oh, okay. oh, I'm sorry. News and then blog. News and then blog. Yeah. So it'll be our article at the top. Yep. We're not going to go into what the white paper says. We'd, we'd like you to read it. Um, and um, this is our effort to be fully transparent um, about what's going on and, and these failures. And also instead of pointing the finger or attacking or whatever to uh, actually dig into the data, dig into the analysis, uh, dig into the failures and get to the root cause of why these are failing. Um, so I think, I think we feel really good about what we've learned. I think um, there will be people who will use this against us. Obviously anything we do can, can be used against us. Um, to try to hurt us or whatever but we'd rather do this than to kind of stay quiet and fly under the radar um and and we, we do strongly believe and um assert that these conclusions are factual and real and we will continue to build on our understanding and our research as time goes on so yeah um take a look at that certainly would love to hear um you know, thoughts on on um, what we found, um, and I think I think this is a great step forward for the B nine community to to get past these um, issues to develop a deeper understanding of what's failing, why it's failing, and what to do about it. All right.